it's another day of vlogmas and today i'm just sharing with you a really quickly cooked dinner i've been busy all day and really didn't have time to plan well so i look in the fridge to see what i had that was quick and easy and i had some cooked perfect meatballs a jar of tomato and basil spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce in the cupboard some pina pasta and an iPad that let me look up a good recipe. So, let me show you what we're having for dinner today. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And today, I'm tackling the chaos that so often comes along with what's for dinner. And one of the things that we've been looking at for the month of November with the Fly Lady was menu planning and eating from the things you have on hand. So I decided today I am not going to run out and pick something up. I'm going to find something in this pantry to make for dinner. And I did. Let me show you. I've got some pina pasta right here. And it's almost al dente, so I'm just about ready to get that out. And I've got some great, great tomato and basil sauce. I prefer the red sauce when I'm doing pasta in comparison to the white sauces. And I tell you what, my husband came in a minute ago and he's like, it smells awful good and I'm hungry. So I better be getting this meal on the table, but just look up at it. Doesn't it just look so rich and amazing? I can't wait to taste it. This was what I started with. This was the sauce that I started with. Bertelli's Organic Tomato and Basil. And then I added some Pompeii red wine. A little roasted garlic oil. Some diced tomatoes. A little bit of salt. Some garlic powder. And some crushed red peppers. All of those together have made for this amazing pasta sauce. And I've got my meatballs in the oven cooking, so let's take a look at those. There are the meatballs. The pina is al dente, so let me get it out of the pot. The meatballs are done, so I'm gonna put them in the pasta sauce. I'll give those a quick stir so they can kind of soak up the juices. and I'm gonna set that off the burner. I just want it to soak up the juices but not to really cook much more. So let's just set that back. So I thought I'd make a little garlic toast to go with our pasta. So I popped four slices of bread in the toaster and I'll take it out, cut the crust off, put it on the baking sheet, sprinkle it with a little garlic powder and then top it with some cheese. Oh, and before I do that, I'll also drizzle it with some of this garlic oil. So let me go ahead and get that done. So the toast is popped up, so let me get it out of the toaster and get to work with it. I've got them spread with butter. Now let's just sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder. I plated the pasta. Now let's get the sauce on it. Everything's ready. We're gonna go ahead and have our dinner. So thank you so much for joining me for another day of Vlogmas as I count down till Christmas. This was one of those days I worked on decorations and then decided, okay, let's have a nice, quick and easy dinner. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share the love by sharing the link with family and friends, and please subscribe. Hit this little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and I will see you tomorrow.